Oh, Lord, everything's happening a little bit too fast. Cassie Ventura has broken her silence on social media. This is not a drill. Cassie Ventura has posted to Instagram specifically about the P. Diddy situation. And y'all, I was thinking that she had signed an NDA and she wasn't going to be able to say anything. But y'all, I mean, I'm looking at it black and white right here. I have another video premiering in literally 10 minutes. So let's see if we can get through this before that. So here's Cassie's Instagram account. You see a little blue check mark up there. And she posted this only four hours ago. What does it say? Thank you for all the love and support from my family, friends, strangers, and those I have yet to meet. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now, but this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue. It broke me down to someone I never thought I would become. With a lot of hard work, I am better today, but I will always be recovering from my past. Thank you to everyone who has taken the time to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. It takes a lot of heart to tell the truth out of a situation that you were powerless in. I offer my hand to those that are still living in fear. Reach out to your people. Don't cut them off. No one should carry this weight alone. This healing journey is never ending, but this support means everything to me. Thank you. Love always. Cassie. In general, I agree with everything she said, and I'm very proud of her for saying anything at all. I'm sure it's been difficult for her to figure out what to say, if she was going to say anything, how she was going to word it, whatever. But one thing that I will say is I am not really personally a big proponent of believing every single person in every single thing they say just because they call themselves a victim. That being said, I am not talking about Cassie because Cassie provided specific names, specific dates. She said she had evidence that she would be able to produce at trial, things like that. I've personally been a victim of someone who lied about me. <laughs> so I'm not going to be jumping on the bandwagon of anytime anybody says that something happened to them and that necessarily did. I am a fan of taking into context the whole situation. And if three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12 people have all come out, made exactly the same type of allegations, exactly the same types of statements about somebody, then absolutely I'm going to be more inclined to believe them. But for me, it also doesn't just come down to belief. First of all, people do lie. People absolutely lie. Cassie is not lying. She did not lie. And actually now we all know because we all saw that footage, but I'm just going to have to pump the brakes on the every of every single thing the first time they say it, because y'all guess what? People lie. Once we live in the brighter days where nobody's allowed to lie and nobody's able to lie anymore. Yes, of course. Sure. I can believe all people who purport to be victims, but the reality is our foundational documents of this country, the ones that we subscribe to, the ones that are still in place, do say that people are innocent until proven guilty, and they should be presumed innocent until proven guilty. A lot of y'all were mad at me in here before Diddy came out and did his apology. A lot of y'all were mad at me, calling me everything but a child of God, saying I'm stupid, saying I'm dense, and all this other stuff because I wasn't coming out and saying, yes, I know for 100% fact that that is Sean P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs. What I did say was he looks like him. He walks like him. He runs like a puma down the hallway like him. But I don't know. It wasn't until Diddy himself came out and took responsibility for those actions. Me not really taking responsibility, but actually assumed the responsibility by saying that, yes, that was me. Um, That's whenever I felt comfortable to say, yes, that definitely 100% was Diddy because he's come out and admitted it. So I do agree with Cassie. I'm very proud of Cassie. I'm in 150% support of Cassie. She is welcome to come on this platform. She is welcome to any of my help that she would ever need. Not that she probably even knows I exist, let's be honest. But I do have to say this believe everybody just the first time they say something thing. Yes, a lot of people would never lie about something like that. But they got liars out here in this world that will lie. I've had people, more than one person, people, plural, work in concert with each other to lie, to make up lies about me, not just for the media, but in a court of law, people have lied about me. And they're out here in the streets trying to act like they're a victim when in reality, I am a victim of them, of their harassment with the legal system, stalking my profiles and every other thing else. They're saying that the things that they actually did to me are things I did to them. So no, I'm just so sorry. Because I've been a victim of people literally lying and making false accusations about me, I'm just so sorry, I'm not going to be able to do the one ask that Cassie has, which is open my heart to believing victims the first time. I mean, I guess I can do that. I can absolutely have my heart open to it. 
But for me personally, unfortunately, because I have been through a situation where people have lied and made false allegations about me, I'm not going to be just necessarily believing everything somebody says. Okay. I'm just so sorry. I'm just not. And that's my right. However, I hope that they put Sean P. Diddy Puff Daddy Combs underneath the jail, girl. I hope he's in that jail so long that he's underneath it. But as you'll see in my other videos coming out today, I really don't think that's going to happen. Now today, I think, oh my God, this is my fourth, fifth video I filmed today. I filmed seven the other day. I am... <sighs> Like I said, there's too much stuff going on. I'm very proud of Cassie. I'm very excited that she did come out and speak. Hopefully this means that she's not going to be restrained by the NDA that presumably she probably had to sign in order to, I don't know, girl, I don't know. Maybe this does follow the NDA. I'm definitely interested in hearing more about the theories, the commentary on that. Make sure your notifications are on because I do have a lot more videos coming because too much stuff's going on. That's all I really had for this one. In the meantime, facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mina. Okay, bye. Don't make no sense trying to come for me. I could block you from the game in a heartbeat. It's a billion users, it's only one of me. If you wanna catch me, better run a star fleet. Cord up on my wrist, gun down on my chest, like 22 carrots and nothing less. Like I could come for you, but it wouldn't be a fair fight. I am the whole sun. You are a nightlight. So sick, I'll G -G -G. Right now, I will be saying everything you tried to do to me.